I'm making a mosaic rosette for a classical guitar. First step is to glue up a bunch of these one by one millimeter sticks of veneer that have been dyed the colors I want. And uh, the idea is you, once you know the pattern, you lay it out in a grid on graph paper so you have columns and rows and you, you figure out what color you need in each cell of the column or the row. Um, so I'll show how I glue these together in a second, but once the columns are glued together, this is how they look. The, this particular pattern, it's, um, the, it's going to be checks of basically blue and yellow. So I'll get a bunch of these glued up in columns and then I'll glue them together in the pattern I want to make rows. And when I then cut them in cross section, I will see the pattern that I'm looking for. And those little cross cut pieces will be inlaid into the channel for the rosette which I'll show a little bit of it along the way, but um, it'll become more clear as I've done more of this work. So the, it's really very difficult to brush um, glue onto a, a one millimeter surface. I find it easier to just put some glue on a piece of waxed paper and drag the wood across it. Then I'll attach this piece. This is a slow process. What isn't with guitar building, I suppose? That lays down there, and then I use a couple of square edges to push them together and make sure they're straight. Then glue the next piece. It's also a very messy process, my fingers, after I've done a few of these sticks, get pretty filthy with glue. I use yellow glue because it gives me a little bit longer setup time than white glue would. Mm -hmm. So this is the idea. I'm not going to show much more of this step than what I already have because it's just the same thing over and over again. I have all the columns glued up. There are eight of them. And what I have is there's a black strip on either edge and then two white sticks followed by two blue I'm sorry two yellow sticks then two blue two more yellow two more blue and now I'm going to glue these up into one big block and the way I'm going to alternate this there will be two identical pieces together so that on end, I'll have a yellow square that's two millimeters by two millimeters because I'll have two of these sandwiched together. And then I'll flip it over and I'll have two blues together referencing just this edge. Um, so what I'll have when I'm all done on cross section is alternating blue and yellow checks that are each uh, two millimeters by two millimeters. In order to do this, I made this little fixture here. I'll 
and it'll have wax paper on it so that the pieces don't stick to it, but I'll lay down the sticks in the right order. Don't really get a second chance with this, so I have to do it right the first time. Um, anyway, all the sticks will be put in place with glue on them, of course. Just yellow glue, the same stuff I used before. And then I'll have this piece squeezing the sticks together in this direction and three little pieces pushing down from the top. Uh, the reason I don't want just one piece across the whole top is I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So if I have it as three separate pieces, I can glue the middle one and make sure that the either end isn't sticking up. Now I can at least brush the glue on. It's a bigger surface area because that's 10 millimeters across now. The compression and keeping it all square is very important. If, if you don't have these column pieces evenly compressed and they're not squared at the ends, or square as a log, um, when you cut the cross sections it can look kind of goofy if it's not all lined up right. Okay, so there's two blues to start. Here's the last one going on. So those are down, clamped I should say. Not real tight yet because I want to be able to push this down a little. So fold the wax paper across, stick a clamp on that. that this end is down nicely. So put this block here. end is good. Alright, clamped. And now I'll let this sit overnight for the glue to dry.